Most people have no idea how big the Pacific Ocean is. If you look at the map, you'll just think that it is a simple sea between Asia and America. But the reality is very different. Satellite maps show how big the Pacific Ocean is. It covers 30% of our land area. Let me explain it to you with an example. The distance from Asia to South America is 12,000 miles. This is such a distance that even if five moons fit into it, there will still be some space left. If all the continents of the world are combined, the Pacific Ocean is bigger than them. For example, if you put Africa, Asia, Europe, North and South America, Australia and even Antarctica in the Pacific Ocean, there will still be 10% space left in the Pacific Ocean. This one ocean covers 46% of our land s water surface and it holds more water than all the oceans on Earth combined. But what is hidden beneath this ocean is even more astonishing. The Pacific Ocean has the three deepest places in the world. Tonga Trench, Philippine Trench, and Mariana Straits. The Mariana Trench is so deep that if you drop Mount Everest to Burj Khali and two Eiffel Towers in it, there will still be some space left above. That's how deep and mysterious it is. But the Pacific Ocean is also full of stories of human history and bravery. Centurius, Ago Polynesians crossed this ocean without any modern technology and ships. They had neither compasses nor maps. They only had simple wooden boats in which they traveled thousands of miles to reach Hawaii, Easter Islands, and New Zealand. Then came the Europeans. In 1500, a group of sailors under the leadership of Ferdinand Magellan set out to cross the Pacific Ocean. Initially, they thought it would be a short and easy journey, but they were wrong. This journey took many months. Their food supplies ran out and many people on the ship died of a disease called scurvy due to a deficiency of vitamin C. They had no idea that this ocean could be so big and dangerous. Even today, the Pacific Ocean hides many secrets within itself. It is so big and far from the world. That point, Nemo, the world's most isolated place is right in its center. And sometimes the closest people to Point Nemo are not in the ocean, but in satellites in space. It is such an empty and deserted area. So the next time you see the Pacific Ocean on the map, remember that it is not just an ocean, but a masterpiece of nature. That covers more than half of our land and all other oceans beyond it are very small.